Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? I have done a little bit more raking around the edge of the field. I'm starting to work on the land work and what I've done is I've split the field down through the middle and I'm sort of working down each side making it into bigger and bigger rows. I won't, um, I'm not going to put everything into two runs. I've sort of done three passes here and I'm just going to do a fourth pass up this side to make a windrow. Uh, someone, and I'm really sorry, I can't remember your name, um, said that they use one of these in their fields, and they've got, I think they said they've got two, actually, um, on their farm, and this is what they do. They do actually, um, keep rolling it across until there is a good size swath there ready to use, and then they, um, get going with it. Um, so my question for this week is, do you want me, when we come to do silage, because obviously we do need to do silage for the cows, um, when we do silage, do you want me to make clamp silage or do you want me to do round bale silage? Um, it'll be one or the other. I'm not going to do square bales for uh, silage if we do do baling. It will be round bales. So it's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. And something that I did actually, um, I, I said that I would mention it. Um, I was talking last time about uh, doing the mowing and how you drive around the outside of the field and then carry on and mow the rest of the field and then you do the outside round last because it's most likely to have stones and stuff like that in it and you're more likely to damage the mower which is why you drive around the very outside edge of the field and that's the bit that you sort of drive over because it's more likely to have something in it that's going to damage your mower. I had a uh, text message actually. It says, Dear Frithgar, um, now I'm a little curious as to how my fans get got hold of my um, phone number and then I sort of realised because if you look at the top of this particular text message it says, Mummy. So this is from my mother. Dear Frithgar, definitely do clamp silage because that's where I met your dad. Um, now, I always thought it was on top of a haystack, but as it turns out, that's where he proposed to her. So he met her whilst, uh, whilst they were making clamp silage. They used to live on neighbouring farms. My dad moved into a, a farm next door to my mum's farm and uh, then they met and so on and so forth. Um, the reason you leave the outside round is because not so much grows... Oh, I'm driving all over the place. Let me, let me just park up. The reason you leave the outside round is because not so much grows by the hedge, so it's better to drive over that and unavoidably squash it down than it is to drive over the heavier crop further into the field. So I did actually tell my mother that I would uh, mention that in the next video. I was not being completely accurate. Um, and once again, even though I am 36 years old, I'm still being taken to school by my mother. Um, so there we go. Uh, the reason you drive around the outside edge of the field first is not just because of stones and stuff like that. It's also because you can also get, um, because the crop is thinner, so you drive over that bit first. And having talked to her afterwards, I said, well, surely um, you would just, you could, like, once you've done a couple rounds, go and do the outside round. But no, you would leave it until the very end. Also because of the stones... Um, but also because once you've driven over it, the longer you can leave it before you go back over and you do that bit, um, the, uh, the more grass will have sort of stood itself back up a little bit. Although it's still going to be squashed down and there is still going to be some mist. So there we go. I wasn't completely accurate and I have been corrected. Um, so we've got a little bit of this left and I just, I realised after yesterday's episode, um, or not yesterday, the day before, um, I realised after the episode that um, we've cut all of this grass, and yes, it's only one growth stage, so it's not going to be a it's not a huge amount of grass. But um, unless we can actually put it into the cow's trough, we can't do anything with it. Um, the cows, the grass only stays for two days and then it rots away. With the seasons mob that we're using, um, it's realistically grass will disappear if you just leave grass lying on the ground. And that's what happens with this mod as well. And I think it um, also applies if you've left it in like a forage wagon or something like that. So um, we've basically got two days to use this grass up or it will uh, completely disappear. So I'm hoping that we'll sort of gather most of it up with a forager. Um, but in future, because we, we did the, we've used the, the class side mounted mower. 
So for the rest of um, this series, what we'll do is we will buy a front-mounted mower and we will sort of figure out roughly how much grass we need to top the, um, the cow's uh, feed trough up and we will um, make sure that we have a... we'll get the front-mounted mower and a, um, a forage wagon and we'll do single pass, um, no grazing style where you just you literally just go and cut enough grass for the day put it into the trough and then that's done they do zero grazing systems in quite a few different places in the world and um it does work quite well you get you, the cows get their fresh grass it's just they don't go out into the fields personally i don't like that idea because i sort of feel a bit sorry for the cows being stuck in their um in sheds all day but for the really huge farms um apparently it's sort of like the best way to do it because they haven't got thousands of cows um jostling and fighting each other to get out to fresh grass and stuff like that and it just makes it all a bit easier to manage um but anyway that's what we're going to do we're going to be doing a zero grazing sort of um system um after we've done this one cut that we're doing here i suppose what we could do we could always go and get a round baler and any that we don't use today we could just turn it into a couple of um round bales of silage it's not going to be very much There's, there is not a lot of grass here um but we could sort of do that one one round bale of silage uh, or a, a few round bales of silage and wrap them up um i'll have a think about that because we've got to use our um forage wagon next and this is an ancient old piece of uh, equipment that many of you will most likely never have seen before I hadn't actually seen one in action before until I seen this mod and then I went and looked it up and yeah it's um, it's a real thing but it's is completely different to anything that you will have seen previously uh, or at least completely different to what a lot of you will have seen previously but I will finish raking this up and then I will go and get it so that we can make a start on actually collecting our grass because I did want to start um, planting some seeds today if I could. This is the loading wagon that I was talking about. It is a PK 1.6. There will be a link in the description. I don't know if I've got an original link or not. I don't think it's an original link. However, I have not been able to find any anywhere else. So, uh, no, I'm not going to buy it. I'm just going to... I know that we've got plenty of money so that we could... Actually, you know what? I think we will buy it. I think that we'll use this one for a little while before we upgrade to a bigger one. Um, there's something about this machine that appeals to me um it's it is an ancient ancient old device look at this thing and this this is the uh the, the worn version of it rather than the brand spanking new version of it and i'm sure i have seen one of these i've known a few farmers who tend to keep every machine that they've ever run rusting away in a hedge i don't like the way that the drawbar is so tight like that um, it's cutting into the wheels, uh, so that is sort of a bit poor on it. Um, it's, yeah, like I say, I've, I've not been able to really locate this mod anywhere, so I suspect it's, um, as it's got a couple of versions, you know, it's some love and attention and some work has gone into it, but I still think that there is sort of room for improvement. I, um, generally speaking, though, the appearance of it and the pictures that I've seen of it seem pretty good, so it's definitely one that I wanted to try and it's i don't know there's there's something about this that it's it's just absolutely awesome i've i'm sure i've seen one of these rusting away in a hedge somewhere uh, you know you, there's always those far some farmers when the machinery is sort of done they will um strip it sell it for scrap whatever um and then get rid of it other farmers park it up in a hedge and they leave it there forever until it rusts away to nothing because all oh, they might need it one day um, and I'm certain that one of the, oh, I might need it one day farmers has or had one of these and I seen it parked in a hedge and I didn't have a clue what it was for. Um, no idea what it was back then, but now that we've got it here, let's, um, ooh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do this so that we can take a look at it. Let's try and start it up. Uh, okay, so you've got... Oh, I see. It rotates it round into a ball. So I'm guessing that's kind of how it, it compacts it a little bit by doing that. And then you've got those rotating arms on the front. And all they're doing is they're pushing the crop up. 
I would guess they're pushing the crop up, although some of them seem to be going in the wrong direction for pushing the crop up the slope. Uh, so, yeah, I, I really don't know how it would work. There's no... The, the pickup reel doesn't move up and down. It's, um, I, I press lift pickup, lower pickup. There's no difference whatsoever for lift and lower pickup. It does. It's, it's not making any difference at all. So um, we, we, we'll lower it. I'm guessing it's for the purposes of game mechanics. Um, it doesn't require a large amount of horsepower, but it's working. Look at this. The, um, the grass is flying up the front and going straight into the machine exactly as it should. This thing is awesome, and it holds 11,000 litres as well. Um, now, I know that I very often I use... I have been called out on this. Um, someone that uh, does... Every now and then he will put a very well-informed, uh, well-reasoned argument, informative post, uh, mod, modelica, or... I, 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 honestly, I've got no idea how to pronounce your name. Um, but uh, I believe he's from Germany. And he will point out various different things that I've done or should be doing. And one thing is my habit of using a thousand litres to equate to one ton um, and doing it sort of using uh, litres and weight interchangeably. When I shouldn't be doing that, I should be um, sticking with litres because it, it's done in volume. It's, it's done in volume, it's not done on weight. It's only in the water tankers where the litres and the weight you can use interchangeably because obviously a litre of water is a um, kilo, so a thousand litres is a ton. Um, this tractor is slowing down a little bit, although the, the horsepower requirement for this particular um, forager, one of the reasons that I picked this one is because it's got such a low requirement. I think it's like a 60 horsepower requirement, so you can use it on the really small stuff. This is this thing's absolutely brilliant. Although I must say, as we've um, we've we've barely gone once around the field, the pickup reel is not very wide, so I am leaving behind some grass. So we're going we are going to go back over and gather that up. We've spent a lot of time and effort. Um, mowing and raking this grass so I don't really want to waste any so we'll put in what we can for the cows and I think what we're going to have to do then is we're going to bale the rest up as silage bales and wrap them right we're full we're full already that is done and we've not even done once around the field it's 11,000 litres of grass there let's not go over all of the windrows um so we're going to have to, we're going to get a round baler and we're going to bale up the rest and we'll get a wrapper. I think we will actually go and buy those two items because I think they are something that we will use periodically. We won't use it all the time, um, but I think we'll use them. So, well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll look at the price. Rather than committing myself right now, we'll look at the price and um, sort of take it from there. I'm not going to try and put that thing inside. I will bring it over here and we'll see what it's like tipping into the drop. This thing is awesome. I love it. Just look at the... It's got a nice lot of detail. The, it, it funct the functions are good. Um, it works well. I, I can see no reason to fault this um, mod. So I'm, I'm actually genuinely confused as to why we've not really seen it very much. Um, or why it's, it's not more popular than it is. Um, there we go. Let's just put it there. And now the tip... From what I remember of the pictures, the tipping of this thing is fantastic. There we go. So it just lifts the back out, and then it basically you just got this kind of plug that has all been squashed down. Um, that would I'm guessing that you would turn it on and maybe use the um, the rotating plate to kind of discharge it. Um, is that it? <laughs> oh crumbs. We will leave 3,000 litres in here because if we take a look at the... Oh, by the way, yeah, kilometres and euros. I had it on pounds and miles because I've been recording the new um, Dowland Farm time-lapse, which is out tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, I had it on pounds and miles. So, uh, apologies for that. I will... Um, but I've, I've corrected now. We're on euros. I know Poland is not, doesn't have euros, but... Um, it's the closest we've got, so we, we'll keep it on that. I think we're just going to leave this one hitched in right there for now. And the next thing we're going to need to do is we need to get a round baler. I will go up there and New Holland, Deutz. New Holland, Deutz. Deutz it is. New Holland's hitched in anyway. Um, there's something about this tractor. It's got, there's, a, there's, a, there's a certain roar to the engine that's quite satisfying when he's 
when he's being when he's under load and when he's being used. So I will go and sort out a round baler. I don't know yet if I'm going to buy it or if we're just going to lease it because we also need to get a wrapper as well. Uh, I decided that I would just lease it in the end because um, the well, quite frankly, the clamp silage is winning the vote by a long way because clamp silage is quite popular, especially in, on uh, smaller farms and so on. Um, and a lot of farmers will do clamp silage. They might do a few bales to sort of back it up. So we're, we're doing bales to back it up, but we're just going to lease this baler for now. I'm hoping that we can find actually an older, cheaper baler um, to sort of do something with later on. I decided to go for the Deutz one. We've got the Deutz Far Progressive. Uh, I can't see. Is that a very master? Might be a very master. Um, for the baler because well we've got the Deutsch tractor on it I thought it'd be quite nice to sort of put them to put the two of them together um, and also because we haven't used it yet I haven't used this particular baler in any of the series and I downloaded and installed this mod at the very beginning uh, this was one of the earliest baler mods to come out um, and it's still never used it so I thought why not let's give it a go see if it's uh, any different to any of the others probably not because it's round baler and quite frankly all the round balers are pretty much identical in this game. Um, there was a round baler that I seen earlier. I was looking around for some different mods to use. And this one particular round baler caught my eye. And it was one that was um, it was a really, really old one. So instead of being centre mounted, instead of having a centre mounted drawbar, the, um, the drawbar was actually, uh, like it, it went right out to the side. And I thought that's actually a really, really cool thing to do. Now, do I have uh, Z? I do have the auto unload um, on here. Five, four, we'll put it to three seconds. I think that should be enough. Um, there we go. Right, so then we don't have to worry about unloading it ourselves because we can just use the auto unload. Um, but yeah, I this um, it was a really old round baler. So it was a side mounted rather than... Um, uh, center drawbar behind like m almost all round balers are now well I'd say all round balers are now you don't get a side mounted or a side drawn um, round baler anymore you, you just don't find them so I if I can find that one again I might actually install that and we could buy that one and use that as our round baler on this farm because we're sort of going for like old machinery and stuff I know I said quite some time ago that this whole series was supposed to be all about um, the great big machinery and then the other series was about the small machinery. We're not doing the other series now um, and um, I think that we can sort of do both with this one. Um, oh and incidentally for those of you who didn't watch my Q&A video that I posted um, it was an hour long and I apologize for that I kind of got carried away um, my biggest failure is my biggest failing is that um, I start talking and then I don't stop talking and many of you have noticed that I do talk and I talk a lot and I never ever seem to stop talking um, the thing is I got kind of carried away answering the questions I will in future try to keep the questions and answers videos to around about 40 minutes um, a few people have suggested that they thought 40 minutes would be a pretty good video um, a little bit longer than normal but um, not excessively so so I will attempt for a, a 40 minute video in future it's going to be a weekly thing every Friday I will release a new um, questions and answers video if you have any questions about the channel about me personally anything like that that you want to know if it's just about the video what I'm going to be doing next and so on you know just stick your comments and your questions in the description as you in the uh, comment section as usual as there's no changes there it's just questions and answers is kind of it's an opportunity for you to learn things about me that uh, you hadn't learned before and the kind of questions I'm less likely to answer in the comment section um, I try to sort of read my way through the comments um, and answer all the questions as I go along. Um, so is there, I know that I am playing Minecraft and for some of you uh, the fact that I'm playing Minecraft is a reason that you don't want to watch it but it's not about the, the game that I'm playing, it's about um, answering your questions and it's also where I will now, rather than having to do a separate channel update video which kind of gets lost in um, and yeah it, it, it's if you're constantly putting out a channel update video people are like oh now what's he doing um whereas if i'm planning any changes if i want to do anything different i'll just 
uh, mention it in the Q&A sessions as well. So my Q&A session on uh, yesterday, on Friday, that I um, had, I also mentioned that my work schedule is changing at the end of this month. Um, so at the beginning of August, I will start being able to produce some extra videos. I'm not going to start producing them immediately because I would like to take the opportunity to spend a few extra days with my family because we, at the moment we don't get to spend a lot of time together. So I'd like to spend some time with my wife and my children. Um, and then in the second or third week of August, I intend to come back to Farming Simulator seven days a week. Um, and I was having a think about it. Um, I will have enough time to do Farming Simulator, I will do um, three days a week of one series, three days a week of another series, and the time lapse as well. So there'll be Farming Simulator videos going up every single day of the week, and I will keep the extra games that I've been doing. Um, so it'll be sort of the people who've really been loving the extra games will have those, and Farming Simulator will be here seven days a week as well. So sort of something for everyone. Um, the big thing though is going to be sort of the change to the style of um, the Farming Simulator videos. Um, I've been up until this point, all the videos, I've, I've, except for the very occasional um, one that I've done where I've sort of just messed around with mods and done completely unrealistic things, um, it's been serious farming all the way through. And I've decided that I'm not going to continue doing that. This series, Gorala, will be serious farming all the way through, no changes. There won't be anything different. Um, we will do serious things, the serious farmers, um, and keep it as realistically as I possibly realistic as I possibly can. I won't make any changes to that. Now then, um, I got three and a half thousand liters of grass in this baler, and I need just another five hundred more to make one more bale, and then we could return the baler. Uh, this is an absolute jolly nuisance because you can't unload for a part bale, can you? Hmm. I'm going to park this one up and I'm going to see about maybe mowing a tiny little extra bit up there so that I can um, do that. But we'll worry about that another time. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm not going to get to um, planting seeds today. That's just, that's just not going to happen because we are running out of time. I need to go and get a wrapper for one, two, three, four, five, six bales. I need to wrap six bales. I've got another one in here. Actually, I might do that a second. I'm going to get the mower on and I'm going to um, so that we've got the seventh bale. Right, I have done it. That one can park up there. I left the mower there just in case I needed to use it again. I've got seven bales now. I will get the little Zeta and we will go and get a wrapper so that we can just finish up by wrapping these bales. Where did I put the Zeta? I've lost it now. Right, we have the wrapper. We have seven bales to wrap up and then that is us done. So let's just unfold this bad boy here. There we go. And it's a nice simple operation using this one. We don't have to worry about anything complicated. We can just... Um, grab the bales. I think you're actually supposed to, when you use it, um, you, you you run into them in a, a set direction, although I'm not actually quite certain about that because I've never actually used one myself. And the only time that I've ever been involved with wrapping the bales is um, having it stationary and then loading up. I was the one that loaded them up at the front with a bobcat. I used to load them with a spike and um, then the person that I worked for, she used to grab the bales um, with the uh, the bale squeeze after they were wrapped and stack them away. Um, and that's the only time that I've ever been involved with wrapping bales of any kind. Um, yeah, most of the silage I've ever been involved with has been clamp silage. So, yeah, my um, the changes to uh, the schedule. Um, for it'll be the second or third week in August. I don't know which one yet. But basically, I will do... Um, well, I'll tell you the whole schedule. So, Monday will be Gorala. Uh, Tuesday will be Gorala and another game. Wednesday will be Gorala and a uh, time-lapse video. Yeah, that, so the the farming simulator time-lapse. That's, um, that's coming back. The, there are a few people who have been a bit concerned. Time-lapse uh, farming simulator is gone. It's not gone at all. It's still here. 
I still do the time lapse. I just did two episodes of Euro Truck Simulator as sort of something in between because I'd had so many requests to do a few episodes of that one. So yeah, that's it. We're back to Farming Simulator time lapse on Sunday. So um, yeah, Wednesday would be the final episode of the week of Garala and um, followed by the time lapse. Or actually, the other way around because it's uh, when they come out. But anyway. Um, then on Thursday will be the new series and uh, another game. Friday, the new series and my weekly questions and answers video. Saturday, um, new series and another game. And then Sunday is a time-lapse video. So there's loads of stuff coming. Um, the new series is, going to be, is not going to be realistic. I'm not going to play it realistically. I will do whatever I fancy doing that particular day. Um, I'm not going to worry about the bankroll. I will have the money mod installed. And if I fancy going out and buying 14 Big Bud tractors, I will go and buy 14 Big Bud tractors so we can have a play around with them. Um, so I will do things that are interesting, are a challenge, are something that's a little bit unusual. Um, I've had a lot of people asking me if I could build a bridge using wood chips. Um, find a river and build a bridge across the river using wood chips. And that's the kind of thing that I would do in the Unrealistic series. So, um, and it's, it's yeah, so it's just going to be about having a bit of fun. Re um, testing the get, rather than, this is about trying to run a simulator, and that will be about playing a game. Um, so that's kind of the, the difference between the two. But um, I will post a video the week before I'm due to start that series um, going through a selection of five different maps that we will have options for. Um, a lot of people, uh, well, a lot of people from the States, I might say, uh, have expressed a concern that now that I'm doing this one here in Europe and my time lapse has moved to the UK, Am I going to forget about US maps? No, I am not going to forget about US maps. I am aware that a large percentage of my audience is from the US and Canada. Um, and you like uh, the larger style of maps that you get in the US. Um, I have not forgotten that. So I will definitely include a couple of... I will include a, probably it'll be two or three different videos of uh, different maps... Um, I would say probably two European and three American or something like that. I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know at the moment. But there will be some US options in there. Right. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bales. Um, I think I might just return the wrapper and possibly keep the round baler for now. Because the thing is, we're going to want the round baler. Well, we're going to want a baler at some point, aren't we? We're going to need a baler in order to do our... Um, oh, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, hay. To do our hay. But then on the other hand, we might not need it to do our hay because so many people have pointed out um, you'd like me to do small bale hay on this map. I won't do all small bale hay, like I've said previously. And I am in the process of looking for a suitable trailer to pick up the, um, the small bales because I don't want to pick them up by hand. I've got no intention of playing this game picking up small bales by hand. I have done enough hours of picking up small bales by hand in real life. There's no way it's happening in the game either. Right. With the round bales, they don't ferment immediately. Um, they do, It takes them a while to turn into silage. So we're going to need to put these somewhere different to the ones that we've already got because they're not actually going to be classed as silage. I don't know if it comes up with anything here. It doesn't, it doesn't actually say um, that they're silage or not. But I know that it does take a little while. Um, i just got no idea how we sort of find that out. But anyway, we have completely run out of time. We've gone way over time now. Um, the weekly question is, when we come to make uh, a lot of silage for the cows, I know that we have just done a few bales, but that was kind of an extra that I didn't really intend to do. Um, when we come to do silage for the cows, do you want me to make a clamp of silage right here ready for them? Or do you want me to make a whole load of bale silage? Uh, so we mow and uh, bale and then wrap. And we'll probably stack the bale silage out here. Um, this is a perfect spot to put the bale silage. We can fill this clamp up with a whole load of round bales. That would be ideal. So, yeah. Um, round bales or clamp? It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And, of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. And if you've enjoyed this episode, please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. 
But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.